Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to Mega Warrior 5 Mercenaries Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. We are going to get destroyed now. We're going to do an assassination contract, level 79 against House Liao. 360 tons drop tonnage. I don't have that and I don't have good mechs. But what I do have is a can-do attitude and a propensity to cry. So, Max Salvage! Really balls to the walls, Max Your Salvage. Alright, we're bringing, we're bringing the heaviest setup we can bring. It's gonna be an Archer, Orion, and two Victors. I am scared. I am super scared. But I need mechs, so we're out to hunt some mechs. Go for the legs! We need mechs, we need legs. Mech legs, leg mechs. Blah, 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 blah. The beard commands us to get mechs. So we get a nice starting screenshot. Do we get one? Okay, camel aiming flu get I'm drinking coffee. This group has proved to Always be a coffee. for our employers. We're tasked right. with making sure that we three find targets them and put them in the ground. We do have Protecting LRMs. Everyone. One target is down low. Okay. We're going to the corner. I I have an idea already. I know where we're going. Um, unfortunately, I can't point on the map, so... Uh, the rightmost target... To the right of that is a ledge. We're going to that ledge, and we're gonna lure him down from up there. That's my plan. We'll put all those trees here. I see a schneise der Vernichtung hinter me here. Look at this. Oh, that's too low. Oh, higher, higher. Look at my mech. You can clearly see where it walked. It's taking down everything in its path. Okay, enough mech, Commander. Oh, hello. Okay, need a little bit... Get a little bit closer. You can get past them. Instead of... Actually, if that's, if that's a plateau... Oh no, it's a plateau. Well, it's not... It's not a low ground, it's a high ground. Oh, well, my tactic just went out the books. Out the wazoo. My tactic is useless. I thought it was low ground, it's high ground actually. Rip. Say goodbye to our idea, guys. It's gone. Pentagon saying, that was an ancient eucalyptus tree! You monster! TTB! Destroyer of the environment, murderer of locusts, owner of the largest mech schlong in existence. Hello, locust, come here. It's so hard to hit them in the jungle, which makes sense. I like the jungle biome, it's challenging. Super challenging. Okay, so how do we get there now? Oh, fucking hell, what is that? Two small laser turrets. Whoa! Kill it. Can we go through here? Is there a tunnel or something? Nope. Uh, it's literally boulders. Okay. Boulder dash! what we say to that okay we're uh we're taking the scenic route it is a uh, jungle tours with ttb on the right side you can see a turret that's about to get destroyed while i uh <clears throat> open a way through that uh residential area by uh oh 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 i'm sorry i can't sorry oops sorry Hope these cars are insured. Okay, well, whatever they are, they're now splat on the ground. You guys remember that game Splat? When you were young? With that little, like, like Play-Doh kind of figures? And if you rolled the thing, like, the Splat hand came down and splat at them? Yes. That was fun. Fall in on the commander. Nowadays we don't have those games anymore. Nowadays we have big stompy robots. Also, my AI mates are currently... Uh, a little bit of a pickle. Um, they don't understand that there is no too narrow area. Because narrow is a term that can be expanded. 
Okay, enough of the weird German jokes. I see a way for us to go up. Reforming on you, Commander. The trees must go. Yes, okay, we're moving in. Uh, there's probably not going to be nothing. Put them down. He's here. He's here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We have no radar. This is where the antenna would be super useful, by the way. I need to shop for a radar antenna. Do you suggest this game for a newbie? Absolutely. Or if you if you uh, want to try out PvP in Mac Warrior, and if you don't want to spend any money, try out Mac Warrior Online. It's a free-to-play game. We're playing it all the time. Okay, what do we have? Awesome! Learn board awesome. I kind of want this mech. I want this. Give me, give me this mech. I'm going shopping, guys. I'm going shopping. Hello? Awesome? That's a turret, not the awesome. Also, the turret is still alive. There's the awesome! Come on, come on, dude. Come on, you're coming home with us. You know you're coming home with us. Just stop resisting us rest already. There's one leg. Let's get the other one. Yep, he's toast. That's got an urban mech behind me, jeebus. Mother stuff. Kill the Urbi! Mr. Sarmed. Ow! My poor arms! Um, what is going on here? Alright. We've got more targets to kill though, so let's get going. I took a lot of damage on my mech already. But we did take out... What are these guys shooting at? They're weirding me out. <laughs> okay. AC2 turret. Okay. Move to the next area. This game you can play solo? Yes. Absolutely. It's a sandbox game that has a lot of um, missions added with the latest two DLCs. Um, you can play it solo, and it's a lot of fun. There's a couple of issues with the game, uh, with a couple of like bugs and whatever. It's not a AAA studio that's making this, so they have limited resources. Uh, AI right now is the, the biggest problem of the game, but you can easily have 100, 200 hours of fun with this game. And it's set in a, a very rich universe, the Battletech universe, which is uh, super interesting and super cool to get into. There's about like 40, 50 novels about it. It used to originate from a tabletop game. A lot of fun. Very old school. Also, I... Uh... Oh, okay, LRMs took down that helicopter. Hallelujah. We finally saw LRMs hit. Also, there's also mods, and you can play it in co-op with your friends! Hello! That guy came out of the woodwork! I can't see him! There he is! There he is! Stop him! A bonk! Aha! I hit him in the face! Where did he go? Ah, he uses jump jets. Alright. Dodge this! And this! Good luck. I can't see. I just lost my arm. That's not good. The other arm is about to fall off. I, I, I. Okay, switch targets. I switch max. Let's go into the Victor. In you. Yeah, yeah, we took a lot of damage here. There should be a target that we need to kill here. Oh, there he is. An Atlas! Holy bloody hell. Okay. Over legs. Well, you could see. That uh, was the arm that we just lost on our mech. I can't see. Come on. Give me that atlas. I want that atlas. There we go. He's lagged. 80% chance he's coming home with us. 
All right, my Orion is probably uh, he's he's tuckered out. He's got an SM6 and AC10 remaining. I mean, my tactic of using the archer and going long range has uh, has been unsuccessful. So, when you're going to the uh, jungle biome, LRM is not the play. Definitely not the play. You have the psychological effect effect from the atlas on the battlefield. Yeah, me too. Atlas is a great mech. Atlas is also a great AI mech. For some reason, they do very well in Atlas. You play the tabletop game, and the CCG. Oh, okay. Well, then, you, then you're gonna enjoy this game for sure. I mean, the thing is, it's been almost 20 years since we had one of these games, right? Even. Woo! -hoo -hoo! That shot's for you, man. No, 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 no! Do you see? Do you see the spin I put on that thing with the AC20? That was nice. Thank you so much for the prime, mate. Oof. You prayed to RNG Jesus to grant TTP that Atlas? Yeah, I'm also praying to RNG Jesus. I will sacrifice a goat to metal RNG Jesus. Also, that guy, remember what I said about SRMs? This guy has double SRM6 in his mech. But uh, landing in front of a victor is not a good thing. There's a thing that's called an assault hand, and it's uh, fisty cuffing very hard. There's still a light mech active here. Oh, that locust from before. Jesus. Why are you still up, mate? How are you still alive? <laughs> you must have fitten somewhere. Oh. I just hit my own mech, unfortunately. We do have friendly fire activated, so that was bad. Oof. Um, how much damage did I do on my Victor? Ah, not that much. Okay, he's fine still. Okay. In fact, let me switch you to that Victor. Let me just hit on. Because that is fresher than the mech we have right now. I mean, there's Atlas and there's an Atlas with TTB in it, right? That's the difference. You notice the Atlas with TTB in it immediately. A, it's running at you crazily with like white foam coming out of its cockpit. And B, it's dragging a massive third leg behind it. <laughs> it's an elite Urbi with AC. Oh, fucking hell, with AC 20 burst fire. I don't want to! Oh, I have to. This is gonna hurt. It's a freaking insanely armored, uh, weaponized Urbi. AC 20 Urbi coming up. Ow. There he is. There he is, stop him! Fisticuffs time! Yep, I punched him out. Okay, last guy incoming. Let's deal with our last dude. Uh, and aircraft. There's a Comstar logo on this thing. Whoa! All oh, the explosions. All right. Last target. Uh, why didn't you die? A stalker. All right. Here's the thing about stalkers. Um, I can't fit his freaking legs. Oh god, he's got SM6 as well. Ay ay ay. Almost got his leg. That's one leg. That stalker would also be a nice addition. Oh, he's he's going for my leg. He's lagging me. <sighs> All right. Get back time. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gonna use the archer here. We're ringing it. So we either get a Stalker, a Atlas, or something else, whatever that was. And there's a Catapult incoming here, and we're not messing with the Catapult. 
I mean, we can mess with the catapult at this range, I guess. Uh, okay, no, we're bugged right now. Did you see where my missiles just went? Yep, we're bugged. So, again, if you want to send PGI a uh, report, yeah, this is completely bugged. It's locked, but the missiles are not flying towards the target. Oh, 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 oh. big bugs. Big bugs. Awesome? Oh, yeah, the awesome. I mean, the awesome is only LRMs, though. It's not a good awesome. So, if we get the Atlas, we're grabbing the Atlas 100%. 10 out of 10. No discussions. If you can get the Atlas, we're grabbing the Atlas. Yep! I mean, it's an RS Atlas. It's not the best Atlas, but it's a good Atlas. We could also get the awesome. Which is a solid mech, don't get me wrong, but not the correct mech that I want. I can grab the Urbi on top, though. Because we need that for a quest. And then, weapons-wise, there's a lot of nice large lasers here. A lot of nice medium lasers, actually. Might spend some money here to grab those. What about double heat sinks? No double heat sinks. SRM truce. Okay. Would be 800k if I grab all of that. Alright, well, we grab all of that. We got an RS Atlas. We didn't get the Stalker. But we got the Atlas. That is the main point. And there's our Urbi that we need to turn in. So these guys can have the Urbi. The light rifle for that. There you go. Have the Urbi. Have fun with that. We get damage tuning. Whatever damage tuning is. Oh, 5% weapon damage. Yeah, that's important. And we have our Atlas RS here. Which we will now properly paint, first and foremost. And then uh, build out. But for that we will go to a different area, so we can go ahead and properly repair. So down here. Got 10 million cash. Well, that Atlas find was important. Really, really important. Um, it's a Banshee on sale, a Banshee 3M. Which is actually not a bad mech. Again, would be even better if we can have if we can have like free hard points or the ability to choose which kind of uh, things you want to have. Uh, let's see, can we repair this? Can we fully repair this? Nope, we're missing one SM4 launcher. Let's see, did we get SM4 on the market? Yes, but only crappy ones. Well. Better crappy one than no one, right? Alright, 22 days. Repair, repair, repair. This is being repaired as well, right? And now the Atlas. Oh, it only has like a medium ballistic slot up here, right? Okay, so let's strip everything off this mech. Repair all components. That's gonna be a weird Atlas. Not necessarily bad, but weird. It's gonna be a weird lass. Okay. Gotta lower the legs a little bit. That gives us enough stuff to work with here, I think. Okay. So we've got two. La we got two laser slots. We got missile slots. We could go SRM-10 with this, or we could go LRMs. Um, we also have the ability to equip short burst large lasers. Let's do that. And then combine this with an AC-10. AC-10 ammo. That might actually be a good mech, actually. If you look at this. And then we add SRM-6. And SM4. That's a stream launcher though. There's an SM4 launcher. And then we have enough to just put in heatsinks galore. Make this mech run relatively cool. Of course you could also run PPCs, right? That's beside the point. Uh, or large chem lasers. Do I have large chem lasers built in? I have actually large chem... Uh, we can't mask them, so it's kind of pointless. So you have... Um, we'd run with two tons of SRM ammo, probably. And a ton of AC-10 ammo. And then you would add heat sinks. A lot of heat sinks. That thing just keeps shooting for days.
Can you show your keyboard setup on camera? I'm using a keyboard and a mouse. That's it. Keyboard, mouse, and the Rocket Taito mouse pad. Nothing crazy going on here, guys. Except for my aimbot. <clears throat> what? Keyboard is a Corsair. Oop. Hang on. It's on the background. Yeah, it's a Corsair K95 RGB Platinum. And the mouse is a Logitech G502 Hero. Alright, we got the SRMs in here. I mean, it could go LRMs. You could go LRM20 with this. But this thing is going to be running super cool. This thing is going to be running super cool. 2.4 cooling. And as soon as we have double heat sinks, we can have two internal heat sinks in there. So it's going to be good, I think. I had a large pulse, yeah, but we only have one of that. I, I kind of don't want to use that. Uh, we also need more large laser short burst, actually. We can get them at some point. I'm going to put that SRM half armor in the head. Ah, maybe not. Okay. 91 days. And then let's do some improvements. We're gonna add 5% weapon damage. Energy range. Uh, energy cooldown. Heat capacity. Ballistics damage. Sure, why the hell not? 137 days. 2 million C bills. Oh well. We also did this job right here. Claim that. Jump jet thrust. We don't need that. Um, let's see what else is on the market here on the equipment side. Large laser short burst. I'm gonna buy two of those. Um, small laser short burst. And small lasers. Hmm. Burst fire AC10. Missile wise, those SRM6 launchers are nice. SM4 does not exist, unfortunately. LRM20 stream would have been an interesting option. I mean, you could have gone LRM25 or so, but yeah. I think we have a good setup now. I think we have a good setup now. Should we try it in this in this beachhead? Nah, not beachhead. I'm not gonna do a level 400 beachhead. I'm not insane, guys. Absolutely not. Warzone 360. We could do that. Let's try out this mech in this Warzone. And hopefully not get destroyed. <laughs> Oxygar, thank you for all the information. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Hope you enjoy the game. Kill three Shadowhawks. Con collect three jump jets class one and kill three Shadowhawks. Okay. You have the jump jets already? Nope. Let's see what we can buy here. Heavy rifles. I'll buy these. Uh, flamers, medium chem. Nope. The chem. No, I don't want those. SM4 anything? No, just a four stream launcher. Jesus, SM4 is really. Oh, there are the antennas. Yeah, 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 antennas. Okay, let's buy an antenna. Um, 1.5 million. The crappy antenna is 450 meters. I mean, the crappy antenna would also be fine for 750k. Let's buy a crappy antenna. And some heavy Eiffel armor. Okay, there are jump jets. What, three jump jets? Is that enough? Yes, perfect. Instant turn in. Get an SM4 launcher. Haha. <laughs> Lucky. Shipping route and collect one industrial fusion reactor. Is that... Is, are we shipping route? Yes, we are shipping route. Okay, well then, we can do this quest. Hopefully we get it here, but we'll see. Um, I need to... Wait until this mech is finished and repairs. Atlas is 67 days. Ouch, that's taking a while. Oof. At 3022, we have four more years. Okay, let's get the antenna in here. Well, the antenna actually gets you an extra slot in the cockpit. Interesting. Interesting. So, 49 days. Ah, okay. Another 40% longer. Okay, maybe maybe we'll do that after this mission. Use the travel time for that. All right, let's see if that contract has that mission for it. By, by, uh, we don't have it here. Okay, so battlefield. Max salvage. 36 salvage points. In a mega city. I'm going to be in my new friendly mech, the Atlas. You guys know what happens in an Atlas. And we have the Archer not deployed this time because we're going to deploy the Orion. Atlas Victor Victor Orion. We have that's that's a 
Like, if you play this with human teammates, that's a kill squad. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be a difficult one. A mech in the being refit. What's 46 days? What? What's taking 46 days? Are the Atlas still being... What? Why are we still working on the Atlas? Oh, that stuff. Okay, well. We spent a little bit of needless time here, but that's okay. I just want to have the Atlas ready. It could have been better if we just used different right mechs. On cue. VTOL on approach. We are walking right into the thick of it, Commander. Help each other hold back uh, the tide of the enemy at Guys, the guys, relax, possible, relax. And then get the hell out of there. There we, we go. Good hunting. Okay, short burst. SRMs are here. Melee is here. We're ready to kill. Let's go. Oh, there's loot here as well. Stop running! That was a little annoying commando. Holy hell. Alright, uh, let's go for the trebuchet. LRM 20 carrier, alright. Ow. Yep. What was that? You have a VTOL about Oh, we have an Igor! Nice! Alright. TTP celebrates by destroying a uh, residential complex. Killing all residents inside. It's like, yay! Oh, 100 people are dead. Actually, Mega City doesn't have any issues with performance. I have no performance issues in Mega City. It's fine. Oh, I saw a mech over there. Jenner. Whoa, he crashed into the building. Commander's target is now priority. I kind of have to arm lock this build, actually. Hello? Yeah, it seems like our AI mates again have a trouble acquiring targets in this biome. Oof. Gotta be careful with my atlas. Heart is heavy tank. AC2 is okay. We're almost halfway through the mission though. We still have our Igor. We've got that Phoenix up over there. Where's the enemy coming in? Oh, over there. Okay. Jenner's, Jenner medium chem lasers. Okay. No, Igor just went down. Oh dear, it's like elite Jenners. And there is a Shadowhawk coming in.
It what? All right. A victor. Again, he's focusing on me instead of my teammates that are shooting him. Let's go for legs. There we go. It's fine if I get a little bit focused. I'm an Atlas. I don't want to get focused. I don't need to share my armor, right? Uh, hello? This guy is fast! The fast boy. Jesus, that general takes a lot of damage. How do they feed this general? Taking a little bit too much damage here. I'm gonna jump into a different mech here. Let's go into the Orion. Oh, he's hot. Let's kill that Shadowhawk next. I almost had a side thruster from behind and killed it. That Orion needs to cool down right now. Uh, the AI is just standing there instead of shooting him. That's just weird. That Atlas, for example, look at that. The AI is completely pooped out. It's just standing there. I think they have a huge problem with this biome. Uh, let's get that catapult. Learn 15 stream. We can go for legs here. I gave him the order to hold fire, and immediately afterwards, I gave him the order to stop holding fire. You gotta pay attention. I was trying to unlock them to actually shoot again, in case it was a, a, a I hiccup. That symbol right up, right next to the uh, shooting symbol up top, probably really hard to see. But trust me, I did it correctly. 100% uh, Atlas? Okay. I think the Atlas is just zoned out. He's just chilling. Tangles appear to be bringing in additional reinforcements. Brace yourselves. This is how you know that the AI has completely pooped out, by the way. They're not moving at all. Like AI, when they stand still, when they're idle, they're moving around a little bit, they're searching for targets. This guy is just pooped out. See? Nothing happens. He just he just went into AI idle mode for some reason. Okay, four targets remain. I'm gonna kill them with the Orion. If it's an enemy assault, we kill it with the Orion. Yeah, but it's definitely a bug with splitting mechs or whatever it is. I don't know. See now they're attacking actually. I don't have to do anything. Oh the partisan can eat damage, holy hell. Uh, Highlander, yes. All right. Hi, yeah, yeah. The Highlander shot me in the back. Okay. AI, do your job. 
I mean, I mean, shoot the Highlander actually. If you, if you won't mind too much. Okay, I'm cool done enough. Let's go hunt his legs. One more shot. That's it. One more target is somewhere, but I'm not gonna try to find him in this guy, mech here. Let's use the Atlas for it. I think there was one guy like over here somewhere. It was like a tank or something. Yeah, there we go. LRM40 carrier. And let's leave. Hopefully we get the Highlander, that would be nice. I brought on my Orion to the bare bones. <laughs> that was nasty, the last bit. Because I got focused by the Enforcer and the Highlander at the same time, right? The Highlander shot me in the back. That was the big problem. Alright, it's alright, we're getting out of here. Our mechs are alive, our pilots are alive, our weapons are alive. Those are the most important points. Repair bills are fine. Let's hope we get the Highlander. 80% chance to get it. Lift this leg mod that we installed. Small short burst laser and an LM15 stream, 1.5 million C bills, and we do not get the Highlander. Of course, we don't get the Highlander. We get another victory because, you know, those are such good mechs. Oh man, that sucks. Iron Jesus is not kind to us. Let's see what kind of weapons we can grab here. Let's get those LM launchers. I'm gonna grab that PPC. Some good weapons? Nah, yeah, we'll see. Medium lasers are not bad. Actually, there could be some pulse lasers in here or something cool, let's see. Because, let's sort by share cost. Let's see if we get double heat sinks. Nope, no double heat sinks. I got excited for a sec. Well. Anything else that we want? Medium chem lasers. Nah. Supercharger. Oh really? Could grab like a general on top, no not a general, but a commando on top. Of all these weapons. Hmm. That's sad. I would have liked the Highlander. Highlander would be would have been amazing. That Victor did 100 damage and the other Victor did 183 damage. Again guys, these like there's something in this biome that completely zones out the AI. That completely zones it out. There there's the proof. They did nothing. Unfortunate. Did you collect us? No, we don't collect anything here. Um, the commander can go away. We will sell that. Is there any other mission that we could take next? Next. Huh. Nope. I can't. I, I don't want to do the beachhead. Absolutely not. Let's have to wait for new missions. Then maybe go up here. Twelve to thirteen. That's higher difficulty though. Five to eight is too low. 13, 14 to low. Maybe go to like the refinery systems and see what we can do over there. Uh, travel to Amiga and repair there. And then travel over. Let's see what kind of equipment we can buy here. Maybe we have enough short burst larges. SM4, anything? Nope. SM6s. Oh. Uh, we can build in the antenna now, however, as we're doing this. Put the antenna in. And repair. The Atlas build is not bad, actually. And then from here on out, we will probably travel over to. Uh, beachheads. Multiple mission operation. This is really a problem. Don't have enough troops for those. I could do multi mission operations, but I would have to do like lower level difficulty. I don't want to. I'm kind of limited what kind of difficulty missions we can take here. 7 to 10 is too low, 12 to 13 is probably too high. 
Darn it. Darn it. We're limited in what kind of missions we can do. Let's see. Is there anything else that we could do? Assassination against Laos by Free World. That we can do. And we can also do the defense contract. It's not going to be perfect, but... If we sell some of these mechs, we might have enough to be able to get a mech. Even though we don't have enough salvage shares. Sell the commando. Javelin. Shadowhawk. Spider. Okay. 7 million cash. We do have we do have not a bad stable of battle mechs right now. We could do like two missions, I think, but not three. For three multi-mission operation thingy, I need more mechs. More high level mechs. If I want to do a high level mission. Alright, now we'll think about that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. As again, unfortunately we had some AI poop outs, but uh, at least we got an Atlas and the Atlas is working beautifully, although this one has been a little bit melted down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so yet, check out the options on how you can help me out if you want to do so as I'm doing this full time. Have a great one, guys. I'll see you next time.